Welcome to our lecture online. In our next example with double integrals, we're going to do a trick function, a simple trick function of that, the sine of y. And notice here the order of the differentials. We have dy first, dx first, uh, last. And so that means that we want to integrate over dy first. And so these are y limits. And then the ones in the front here, x limits for the second integral. All right. So if we're going to do that, remember, in this case, the x will simply become a constant. And so when we integrate, the integral of the sine of y will be, well, let's see here, the differential of the sine is the cosine, so the integral would be the negative sine. So this is equal to the integral from 0 to 2 of minus, or let me write it like this, it's easier, x times minus the cosine of y. And we're going to evaluate this from 0 to pi over 2 times dx. Again, remember that the x is simply the constant and the integral of the sine is the negative cosine. When we plug in the limits, we get the integral from 0 to 2 of x times, plug in the upper limit, we get minus the cosine of pi over 2 minus, subtract when we plug in the lower limit, minus the cosine of 0. Notice that I make sure I don't make an error on the signs. So we're going to subtract. We're plugging the lower limit. We still have the negative sign here. We want to keep that. We're plugging the lower limit. And then, of course, we still need the dx over here. Now we're ready to evaluate that. So this is equal to the integral from 0 to 2 times x times. So the cosine of pi over 2, that's uh, pi over 2 is 90 degrees. That would be 0. So we get minus 0, simply 0. Minus times the minus becomes a plus, and the cosine of 0, which is 1, times dx. So this then becomes the integral from 0 to 2 of x times 1, which is x dx. And now we can go ahead and simply integrate the second integral. That's an easy one. So we have that is equal to x squared over 2 evaluated from 0 to 2, which is equal to, when I plug in the upper limit, we get... 2 squared divided by 2 minus plug in the lower limit, we get 0. That would be 4 over 2, which is 2. And that is the final answer. That would be the result of this double integral. Again, notice it doesn't matter if it has trick functions, logarithmic functions, whatever it has. Make sure you do the, the order of operation correctly. You can see that the first integral you're going to do depends upon how the differential is written. So you do dy first. These are the y limits. Then you do x next. These are the x limits. All right, just to see that uh, you can actually do this both ways, we're doing the x first. Let's go ahead and do it again. I'm going to reverse this. So this is equal to the integral from 0 to pi over 2 times the integral of 0. I shouldn't say times, but it's a double integral. 0 to 2, these are our x limits of x times the sine of y. And I'm going to write dx dy. So this is just the indicator that I'm going to integrate over the x variable first and that these are the x limits. So I simply reverse the order of these two and reverse the order of those two. And again, if everything goes right, we should be able to get the same answer. All right, so now we have, uh, we're going to integrate over the x variable. That means the sine of y just becomes a constant. So this is equal to the integral from 0 to pi over 2 of... Um, x squared over 2 times the sine of y dy. And of course, then we still have the limits from 0 to 2 because we didn't evaluate it yet. Again, remember, the sine of y just acts like a constant. It just goes along for the right, so to speak. And we plug in the upper limit. So this is equal to the integral from 0 to pi over 2. And the upper limit, we get 2 squared divided by 2 times the sine of y Minus when we plug in the lower limit, of course, when we plug in the lower limit, we get 0, and that simply becomes 0 at times dy. And so when we evaluate that, this is equal to the integral from 0 to pi over 2. That's 4 divided by 2, so it gives me 2 times the sine of y dy. All right, so now we're ready to integrate the sine of y. So this is equal to... We still have the 2 there, so 2 times the integral of the sine is the negative cosine. And the limits of integration are from 0 to pi over 2. So this is equal to uh, minus 2 times the cosine of the upper limit, which is pi over 2, minus 
And notice I use parentheses so I don't get messed up with the signs. I'm going to subtract now when I plug in the lower limit. I still have a minus 2 there times the cosine of 0. Now, the cosine of pi over 2, that is, of course, 0. So this is equal to 0. Minus times the minus is a plus. 2 times the cosine of 0, which is 1. So the answer is 2. And sure enough, I get the same answer either way. So again, the order of operation doesn't really matter. In this case, it's just as easy to go do it one way first as it is to do it the other way first.